Robinson's got a chance for a return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Double tight end formation. First down at the 23. Kenny Vaccaro reads that one and makes the pick. You hate to dig an early hole, but that's what's happened here with the early interception throw. Yeah, good job by the defense, but I'll tell you, you've got to make sure as a quarterback when you throw an interception early in the game that you don't let it get into your head and, and give self doubts. So stay positive, go out there, be aggressive, and play that way. The Falcons take it from the 28. Searching for space to the right. That's a gain of six. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. There is a flag out. Almost intercepted. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. Gets tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, read the quarterback. You make a quick break on the football. Hey, you get in position like this, and you can knock it down. First down at the 17. Mike Wallace has the reception. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? First and goal from the five. And bringing them down, it's Lawrence Timmons. Bringing the pounce on the quarterback today, Jason Pierre-Paul. Jason Pierre-Paul is a difference maker. He can ruin the run game, and also you have to double team him any time there's a pass because he knows how to get to the quarterback. The football sits at the three. Second and goal from the three. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Third and goal at the three. Waynes is in on the tackle. He's not a quarterback that shies away from contact. I'll give him that. A for courage. But this time, even ball fake, the defense is waiting on him, and they just hit him at the line of scrimmage, and he gets no gain. The offense is back on the field here with fourth and three to go. Goal line defense on the field. Looks like a delay of game.
Should be an easy one here. They better hurry to get the snap. And the quarterback doesn't get the snap in time. That's of game right here. Chip shot here. Trying to beat the play clock. And the kick is good for three. That field goal gives them a leg up here midway through the first quarter. Makes you feel really good about what you did during the week here. Anytime you can get points on the board early in a football game, it makes you think all that practice was worth it. Just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Giants offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim. But you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. They tried to fool them with the screen, but it ends up as an incompletion. Let's set the lineups now for the offense. DeAndre Hopkins, a former first-round pick out of Clemson. He was a steal, Jim, with the 27th pick of the draft. Very productive last year. Tough. Run game, and he can make those contested catches. They bring in the extra tight end. Set up screen. Got the completion. Still powering ahead. Going to take it the distance. The 20, the 10, and in for the touchdown. Well, what a drive there for the touchdown. You look back over that drive, and it was, look at the number of plays. So many. It was tough, and that just shows you, it just kind of describes this football team, doesn't it? They're a tough group of guys. The Giants with an extra point try on the way. Extra point is good. The Falcons in kick return formation. They're setting up the return. Breaks free. Running room. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. When you get a kick return for a touchdown, a lot has to happen. One, it takes talent by the kick returner. But look at all the good blocks we saw down the field and the speed of the kick returner. Touchdown. Falcons getting ready for the kickoff. He'll have a chance to take off. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. The Giants take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looked so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? The Falcons' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. They're setting up screen. Keeps his legs moving. For this defense, one of the best corners in the league, can also be quite...
quite a factor in the return game. That would be Patrick Peterson, who was the fifth pick in the draft back in 2011. Not many times you could just say all in one, but Patrick Peterson is truly one of those guys. There's nothing he can't do on the football field. One of the best players in the NFL. The Giants snap it at the 36. Screen has his target. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Playing press coverage to the outside. Set up screen. Has his target. Ball is out. They recover their own fumble. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. The Giants will go for it here on fourth down and short. The Giants snap it at the 41. They're setting up screen. A foot race to the end zone. In stride, and he's home for the touchdown. Getting near the end of the opening quarter. They've grabbed the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, things have been rough so far, haven't they? It's been fun to watch. Each team is being very competitive and physical, but that's a nice thing to do to score that touchdown and get a lead here late in the first. And the point after is good. The Falcons ready to return the kick. And this is Ginn running it out. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. The Falcons step back onto the field on offense. Their last possession resulted in a field goal. Well, I know this. It was good defense on the other side. That's what made them kick that field goal. So the defense is feeling good about the fact that they stopped that momentum by the offense and made them kick that field goal. Gets it out for the completion. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage at time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. The Falcons have it at the 29. Luck's on the move. Well, if you force him out of the pocket and you force him to run, he'll do it, and he's pretty good at it. Good job. Luck's got it in the gun. Looking across the middle, underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Luck's lining up in the pistol. Second down and 10. Screen pass to Wallace. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Third down and one. Luck going to try to scramble now. Has the catch. The Falcons know you got to have multiple plays in every situation in, in the NFL now. You can't always run the football on third and short. They throw the pass. He catches the defense off guard, and they get the first down. The ball just a nose outside of the goal line. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Takes it out of the eye. And Matt Elam puts a halt to that run.
There's a flag right there. Power surge for six. Touchdown. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. That touchdown partner puts them in front here in the early part of the second quarter. Yeah, it's nice. They scored that touchdown. The defense has got to be kicking themselves because they did not play well or smart on that scoring drive. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. Robinson's got it on the return. And the tackle right around the 25-yard line. The Giants on a quest for their third straight scoring drive here, Phil. They've been having their way with that defense on these last few possessions. Well, let me say this. Jim, it's not that easy to score points in the NFL. Not the way they're making it look. And they're confident. They're, they look like they're fast. They're fresh. They're rested. It's been fun to watch. First down at the 25. Graham, such an impressive athlete. We know he can tackle and stop the run game, but how about that in the pass game? Defending the pass and picking it off. Good job. Great starting field position for the offense. First down at the 30. Emmett Smith takes the handoff. That's a gain of seven. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second and three. He'll throw it over the middle. Again, can't bring it in. That'll probably go as a drop. You got to try to avoid this as a quarterback. Don't throw off that back foot unless you have to. When you do, there's just no way you're going to be as good if you had good balance. That time, the throw's off the mark. Beasley has the grab. Graham's there to make the tackle. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Takes the snap. We're about midway, second quarter. And we've reached the two-minute warning. to the outside Smith brought down after picking up just a yard he's averaging about three yards a carry on the day third down they'll hike it to him out of the shotgun has it touchdown what a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown it was just really nice he threw it beautifully, right on target. Touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Falcons ready here for the kickoff. into him ending the return at the 20 yard line the Giants just gave up some big turnover points let's see if they can hold on to football this time Phil because we know how crucial it is we talked to the coaches about it this week this was their concern with this team well if you want to stay on the field you better quit turning it over right Jim that's what they the coaches look you you make mistakes on the field they're gonna get they're gonna be forgiving to a point but you got to be smart you got to be efficient and get the job done Good job by the offense going the hurry-up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. Catch made. The defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Well, they didn't that time. The receiver made a nice little move, gets open, and a good throw by the quarterback. Stafford's completion percentage, 70% on the day. And he's going to be sacked. So, just three plays and out for the offense. The 
the coach is going to go for it. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Scans the field. The Giants turn the ball over on downs. The Falcons defense probably thought there is no way the other team's going to go for it on fourth down. Something special, baby. It's Cause I was never broken by you. Inside, stuck up to my chest and told me to drive. I was scared, but she was beautiful like a movie. She kept looking back like something was coming. Said we ain't slowing down, ain't stopping for nothing. My truck was shaking, my blood was pumping, but she was laughing. I about hit the brakes when we came around the corner of mile. A blue lights came to point of whatever she had is what they wanted. And it's all a little fuzzy after that. All I remember is sirens, blue lights flashing and driving.
and almost got away, but they found her. She was the choppers, they were swirling around. For every couple of rounds, off a couple, but, but they wouldn't back down. All I remember is sirens, blue lights flashing and driving, their blade passing and flying, tearing through the red lights, blowing through the stop signs. All I remember is sirens, ringing from the lips, firing, one curve away from dying. Really, all I remember is sirens. Yeah. Here in our Orlando studios, getting you set for this edition of Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. I'm Jeff.